hey guys welcome to my channel um i thought i'd create a makeup look for you guys and i filmed it when i'm ready to go out so um stay tuned to see how i create this look So first I'm going to start with my Lip Perfector by YSL and I'm just going to apply that on my lips. And then I'm going to go ahead with the brows. So I'm going to go ahead and brush my brows with the spoolie at the end and just going to fill it up with the pencil and just follow my eyebrows. And I'm going to use the NYX Eyebrow Pencil. Then I'm going to go ahead with the Blur Primer in the shade Orange by YSL. I'm just going to apply that all over my face and just rub it in. So I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Foundation and I'm going to use in shade... The Fenty Beauty is in the shade 300 um, and I absolutely love this foundation. I just can't stop using this. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I keep mentioning this because when I love a product, I will keep using it. Next, I'm gonna go ahead with the Kiko Concealer, uh, which is a full coverage foundation. I meant full coverage concealer that I love using. Um, it's in the shade number six. I'm gonna go ahead with the All Nighter Waterproof Setting Powder that I literally swear by and I use it every single day because it just helps keep my foundation on all day and a lot more longer because I have a very oily skin that I don't need to touch at once I've applied this and I feel like this does the job. I'm gonna use the D-Slick Spray by Urban Decay and just spray that and I just feel like it keeps my skin matter for longer without any touch-ups. Next, I'm gonna use the Slo Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Instant Retouch pa Press Powder. And I'm gonna use a Zoeva brush, which is in the number 110. Then I'm gonna use my favorite Anastasia contour powder and I'm gonna use the shade, I believe it's the one of the two brown shades, I just can't remember the name of it. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush, which I like to use for contour because it's just got that smooth angle. Go ahead and use two of the brown shades. And just going to sculpt my cheekbones. And I'm gonna, I like to use the first lighter shade and then I use a darker shade. I just feel like it creates more depth for me. Um, that's what I like to use on a day-to-day -day basis because powder just keeps no shine. Next, I'm gonna use the Morphe NB uh, blusher palette and I'm gonna use a middle shade, I just can't remember, it's like a warm pinky tone and I'm gonna use the Zoeva Luxe brush. Um, it's one of my favorite um, blusher brush. It's in the 126 Luxe Cheek Finish by Zoeva. I just love it because it's rose gold. I'm gonna use the Bare Minerals, the Natural High um, blush. I just like to add a bit more color and I, sometimes I like to mix my blushes. Next, I'm gonna go ahead with the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. I'm gonna use the shade Bay and I'm just gonna use a fluffy brush. Next, I'm gonna use the Jaclyn Hill Palette, which I absolutely love. And again, go with the same fluffy brush and gonna use that warm brown shade. So the shade is in Pookie. It's gonna sweep the color over my crease line. So just to create a transition shade. 
just the same on the other eyes and then I'm going to use another medium fluffy brush I'm going to use like a deeper brown shade in the shade Mokka and I'm going to apply that same again on the crease just a little bit and make sure that you sweep across and just blend 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 and then I'm going to use the darker brown which I believe is in the shade Central Park I'm going to use a flat brush um, I believe the brush is by Kiko I'm going to go ahead with the shade Firework and it's like a metallic shimmer shade and I'm gonna use the flat brush and apply it on the eyelid and just pat 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 and you can add more to pack more color I'm just gonna speed it up for you and then I'm gonna use a small brush It's just one of a lip brush that I like to use. Um, it can be any like eyeshadow brushes that you find comfortable. Then I'm gonna use a MAC um, small pencil. It's very, very tiny because I use that a lot. It's a brown shade in coffee and I'm gonna um, line my waterline. Go ahead with the mascara, the curler by YSL and just apply that to my lashes before I go ahead with adding false lashes. I do like to apply more setting spray. Um, I should do that before mascara. So I'm going to use the Laura Geller um, highlighter. It's a uh, body frosting that I've picked up from last year. Um, it was a Christmas collection and the highlight is um, in gilded, it's a gilded um, glow which was a really nice one and the colour in this, I swear to god, it's just so nice and I absolutely love the colour. It's just a gold, pearly, pinky kind of highlight but this colour is amazing. And I'm gonna apply some on my brow bone going to use the medium brush and add that highlight on the top of my cheeks and this highlight literally I swear I mean look at that highlight and then I'm gonna add some of my cupid's bowl Then I'm going to go ahead with the Souffle de Clat in number 2 powder and I'm going to use the buffing brush by Real Techniques and just going to use that powder to buff my face. I just feel that it gives it a nicer finish and blends everything together. It's just going to do that all over my face. And then I'm going to go ahead with the Bare Minerals Lip Liquid Matte in the colour Devious. Go ahead with the NYX Weed um, lip pencil in Copenhagen and just gonna use the lip liner first to line my lips. Always start with the corner of your lips if you find that you struggle with lining your lips and just follow your lip. I don't like to overdraw my lips because my I believe my lips are already big enough as they are and I just feel like if I overline it, it just doesn't look right. Um, so do what you think um, fits you or you find comfortable. Liquid lipstick by Bare Minerals is amazing, it smells so nice. It smells like chocolates, um, smells like Nutella. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and apply that all over my lips and just fill in. The reason why I love this um, 
lip, uh, liquid lipstick is because it doesn't dry up my lips. It gives you that really nice feel, but at the same time gives you that matte finish. Then I go back in with the NYX lip liner and just like to define the lips a bit more and just fix up. Just feel that it creates a more better finish. I'm gonna go back in. I already applied my false lashes, so I'm gonna go back in with the curler mascara and line the bottom um, lash lashes. And I use a spoolie to just separate the lashes because I don't like that spider effect at the bottom of my lash line. Now I'm gonna use the concealer with a flat brush, and I'm just gonna like fix up the corners. Um, I just believe that it creates a sharper finish for the lips. There we go, the look is all done. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as, as much as I've enjoyed filming this. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Um, hopefully I'll be bringing you more. So stay tuned and see you soon.